In this video, we'll show you how to fly the Architens Cruiser. This is the captain. Brace for impact. Uh, as always, the Architens comes with uh, two variants. Uh, the first one we have is the Architens Light Cruiser. Uh, it comes with five hull. It has two shields all round. Uh, it has two redirects, a contain, and an evade. Uh, it's speed three. Uh, it has two command, one squadron, and three engineering. Uh, it also comes with a officer slot, defensive retrofit, and a turbo, turbo laser. Uh, the second variant is the Architens Command Cruiser. Uh, this is five points uh, more expensive than the light cruiser being uh, 54 points. Um, it also comes with a blue dice out of the rear and the front instead of a black dice. Uh, it also comes with a blue anti-squadron instead of a black anti-squadron and it also comes with one extra squadron command. Uh, it also comes with a support slot. Uh, so we'll talk more about the light cruiser as the uh, command cruiser being that extra five points uh, is not as commonly seen as the light cruiser. Um, also, it just doesn't seem to have much of a use. Uh, generally, the Architens is a support ship and you're taking it, you really want to hold back on how many points you are spending on it. Uh, some of the officers you'll find on a light cruiser will uh, be Captain Nita. Um, obviously, when you have TRCs, you want that extra evade, so swapping out the contain uh, is a good option for you there. Um, I've seen people run a uh, skill first officer on it, um, just because it's command 2, um, and it, with its non-removability, you really want to be able to uh, get that nav command when you want, uh, or, or a pair being engineering 3 can remove a card. Um, I've also run it with Intel Officer, uh, but I've had Vader and, and Enhanced Armaments on that as well. Uh, it can put a hurt on a ship when you can put out a lot of damage uh, and targeting their brace. So some of the turbo lasers that you'll find on an Architens light cruiser uh, will be dual turbo lasers. Uh, this is uh, one of the most common builds I've found um, that people are running just because it's an extra 5 points on top of your 54 points making it a nice cheap brawling chip. Um, it also has those 3 red dice out the side, uh, so fickle red dice, um, being able to roll an extra dice in and then taking one out, uh, taking out a blank, say, uh, is really, really versatile for it. Um, there's another one is TRCs. Having Captain Nita on that would makes it even better. I find you want your evade uh, with this ship. You want to be staying at long range. Uh, and also, lastly, we've got enhanced armament. I find um, putting enhanced armament on, an, on a light cruiser, uh, you generally want to be running Vader as your Admiral, uh, just giving you that reroll. You just flip the contain and just reroll for that maximum damage potential. Uh, so I find that if you've got points left over to spare, uh, and you want your Architens to be a little bit more durable in the fight, um, I find that you can put reinforced blast doors. Uh, it just really helps um, taking away that 3 damage you've been suffering at long range, uh, just to give you a little more fight in you. Um, I've also found advanced projectors uh, with the double, double redirect. It helps um, versing squadron, so like uh, versing the squadron bomber lists. Um, also, early warning systems, um, I'd really consider putting that in um, just for uh, Sloan versus a Sloan list or even any, any bomber list really. I thought I'd touch on uh, its titles as well. Uh, like most ships, it comes with two. Uh, I find that um, just because you don't want to be spending points on these, uh, unless you have a specific plan for these titles, uh, you won't be taking them. So uh, there's Hand of Justice. So um, Hand of Justice is that uh, you get to uh, ready a defense token. I find this can be um, very, very helpful if you want, say, if it's a support, supporting like an ISD, um, readying a brace uh, on any ship really is useful. 
or um, if you're running two architends, uh, you run, run Nita on one and then you can Hand of Justice the other ones uh, evade, uh, allowing it to have versatility with uh, TRCs. Uh, the other title is Centacore. Um, it's essentially relay uh, in a title uh, for three points. Um, when another friendly ship resolves a squadron command, you're allowed to activate two squadrons that are within medium range of, of that ship. Uh, it, it really does give you another relay boat, but it's not as commonly seen because you have uh, relay in, in your shuttles. So just with the commands uh, when, when commanding an architect, uh, generally you want to be doing a nav. Uh, just as you can see, uh, it has two clicks on the end of every speed. Uh, this means that uh, you're very predictable in the way you're maneuvering. Uh, and having that nav, that extra yaw value, uh, allows you to be more maneuverable uh, when flying. So in relation to maneuvering the uh, architends, uh, you really want to be staying at the long range, max maximizing your potential for the red dice. Uh, you you want to be doing your nav commands uh, so that you get that extra click, allowing you to be more maneuverable. So going from a maneuver from this at speed three, we end up we end up out further uh, from from the corvette, allowing us allowing it to get away. But doing a nav allows you to change that, allowing us to get close closer. Uh, also, closing that gap between us, you, you and you and that ship. Fuck. With manoeuvring the Architens, you really want to keep it at long range. Uh, not having a brace means that whatever damage you're taking is what you are taking. Uh, so at long range, you get to use your evade at maximum effect and cancel some of that damage. Um, you also want to be... As I said, stacking navigates uh, just to make you more maneuverable. So at uh, long range here, we've taken a shot at the MC-75 and then we're going to move off at speed 3. Uh, it being, being able to get that extra click at, at the joint 2 means that we can actually circle round for another pass at this MC-75 if he turns off. So that's pretty much it for uh, the Arca 10s. Uh, it's a ship that you are using to support uh, the rest of your fleet, keeping it at long range to uh, maximise its survivability. Uh, you can also grab some other upgrades to, to increase that survivability, uh, but it's, I find that it's a good long range ship that can put out a decent amount of damage. Uh, so, as always, uh, if you, let us know uh, what you'd like to see and what videos we could do for you. Uh, also support us on Patreon. Uh, we're trying to get that Scarif gate. Now we've got the MC-75 and Radis. Uh, we're another step closer. Uh, this is Fulcrum Nick signing off.